Welcome back to uh, Bloodstock TV. It is the last day, unfortunately. It's Sunday morning and uh, it's still extremely hot, but everyone's in a great, great mood. And why not? Because we have a fucking insane day of uh, music lined up across all the stages. Now, uh, I'm sitting here with the guys from Orbit Culture. Guys, do you want to just introduce yourselves and uh, yeah. say hi? So, uh, my name is Frederick and I play the bass guitar. My name is Richard, I play the guitar. My name is Nicholas. I do lead vocals and guitar in the band. Welcome, guys. So, am I right in saying this is your first time at Bloodstock? Yeah. Yeah? That's correct. And, uh, I mean, have you had a chance to just ramble around the site and have a look at things? Uh, yeah, we just got here like uh, one hour ago. Uh, we bought some noodles and shit. Uh, <laughs> some noodles? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So th that's that the only thing uh, <laughs> yeah. that we have had the time to do, to yeah. eat something. Okay, and then did you come in from like where where you said you were playing in Birmingham on Wednesday night, yeah? Yeah, we played that uh, Knotfest, Pulse of oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. with Silosis and a few other bands, Heriot and yeah, a lot yeah. of cool bands. And it was uh, extremely hot, yeah. sweat dripping yeah, down yeah, the walls, yeah. 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 My, my t-shirt was just soaked, so. It's yeah. on eBay now for like a thousand <laughs> euro or whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, look, just tell me, are you still in the process of recording the record or where are you with it or what's going on with it yeah we're uh, somewhat done but uh, we always come back to it to fix details that's like the last process that we always do as uh, but we uh, we have a single coming out in what is it today on the 26th of August okay so uh, uh, that's that's will will be the first single from the upcoming new album called okay. Descent and a video you said a video, yeah. but when you said that you're still fixing things uh, am i assuming that the music itself is actually completed it's mastered it's it's all done and are, uh, are you still i tend to like write mix and master all at the same time okay <laughs> so where are your other two arms <laughs> that's a lot man that's yeah, a lot to do that's how we roll <laughs> um yeah like you I suppose you do all this at home. You're very active at home. You you're writing and recording and constantly all the time. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Do you ever get the feeling that it's like it's kind of like a, a blessing and also a hindrance that you can never get away from it? It's just there. You're sitting down to eat your breakfast and it's like, oh, I've got to go into the room and and just fix this and change whatever. You got that 100% right. <laughs> you know. The discussions I have had with my girlfriend during the years. She's, you still have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fortunately, yeah. Not, not God bless her. Yeah. <laughs> She's married to the album. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Uh, the deluxe version of uh, Am I pronouncing this right? Ni Ni. Nija. 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 Yeah. Nija. Yeah. Nija. Um, it has the bonus tracks on it. So there's uh, Warg Blood and Mute, the Silent. Why did you, where did those tunes come from? Were they from the original sessions or did you just put them on the deluxe version? Like, where did these tracks come from? Uh, were they the, just left over that you decided or what were you going to do with them? Th those were in the original oh, yeah. 12, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, but we wanted to, these days you have to, to stay relevant. You have to release yeah. music all the time. So that's why we choose to keep those two in and um, let the let the first edition grow and then put out the deluxe deluxe edition. Well, six months later. And that's always the hardest part to like figure out which songs you're gonna choose because we always sit down with like that time was was 12 songs and we tried to choose. We invited a lot of friends having like a listening party, but which, which song should we you know? It's like trying back? to pick which your yeah, which, yeah. which child is your favorite yeah, child. Exactly, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, and not yeah. tell anyone about it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, with regards to the. The, the new record, right? The single, as you said, is coming out uh, on the, I think you said the 26th of August, which is only a couple of weeks away. Um, in terms of the sound, is it evolved a little bit more? How would you describe it in terms of, is there anything a little bit different, a bit more confident in certain areas of production or writing or? I think it comes back to the the Need album. We, yeah. we, we started to write songs that were like, some of the songs are like barely playable, really. And that's and that's why we wrote Shaman because we want to have songs that we could actually perform, like, yeah. and not have you know think so much about how instead of like buzzing 400 notes a second. So, but then we felt like we want to make big songs again. So then we just combined those two elements from Nidia and Shaman. 
with a darker twist on it, and there, there you have it, the new You've album. You've explained that, so like it was just effortless. Yeah, we just took this, put this together, but I'm sure it was an awful lot of, uh, yeah. That's basically, yeah, but uh, it all, these thoughts always come up around like 3 a.m. at night. Holy shit, I have to go through the computer. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, with reference to today's set and what you played uh, in Birmingham the other night, are you incorporating new stuff? Like, is the single that's coming out, is that in the set now? No. You're no. just keeping everything yeah. back. Is the, the urge to just play it is not... No? The, the urge is there, but uh, since with the pandemic and stuff, we felt like we, re we really haven't shown the people like the Nidja and Shaman songs. We were like, let's do those first. <laughs> they need to get their yeah. time. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So... Right, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll look out for when that eventually comes into the set, but I do understand that you need to give those songs their moment in the, in the light as well. Um, just a general question about the Swedish death metal scene as a whole. It's, it's, it's legendary. I mean, it's probably a ridiculous There question. you have it, yeah. legendary. Yeah, but why is it so fucking amazing? What is it about that particular area it's like the bay area in san francisco is just incredible yeah. was incredible and the, some of the greatest bands in the thrash era came out of there but what is it about i mean what do you think it is in something the fabric? in the water or in the beers yeah. <laughs> now but the thing is they recently released like a documentary about that all those dudes that were in like in flames and tomb and such i was talking sorry yeah this was just recent right because yeah, yeah. i was talking yeah, yeah. to was michael from dark tranquility and he said it was on yeah uh, yeah yeah all those dudes were like living you know, on the, in the same area, yeah. kind of. And I don't know what they were drinking, but it helped out. I mean, yeah, as you said, it's legendary. All those bands, like, they're fucking sick, and they're still sick. I mean, so yeah. brutal. Time that all those bands emerge. I think there were like a bus line, they said something in this documentary, where everybody, like, were picked up, you know. So all these guys kind of knew each other back then, which led to them starting bands and then, like, switching and, and yeah, it became these Swedish death metal, the metal yeah. bands that we're talking about. Yeah. And we are so lucky because we're going on a European tour with both In Flames and At The Gates. When is that happening? That's in November. Yeah. It starts in November, yeah. Oh, right. So that'll take you just right up to the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm assuming 2023 is all going to be about the new album, right? And touring. That's the plan. It, it, Will can I, I'm sure now, obviously, with uh, everyone being held in for two years, uh, you're really going to put a conscious effort into touring as much as you possibly can now in 2023. So, club dates across the UK, across Europe, that's either is that a definite thing or has it been in discussion? Or, yeah, uh, uh, it's in discussion for sure. Okay, uh, but our minds has been like the album, let's do 2023. Let's the booking guys decide that for now. And we like, just we've done our bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, we actually going out now in less than what, what is it? Four weeks with In Flames in the U.S. too. So, oh God! Okay, so we, right. We'll be with those guys for <laughs> six months. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great as well. But as he said, like we're, we're with UTA, United Talent Agency, yeah. and th those guys has been really helpful. So for now, they they are like the what what should <laughs> like our caretakers, you know, like. Do what you need to do, and yeah, they'll just look after it. Yeah. Have you done? Have you done American dates? No, no. those okay. are our firsts. So it's a month wow. in America. Okay, that will be insane. Lots of driving. Yeah, lots of driving. But we, we're not driving though. <laughs> Good for you. Well, anyway, so here we are at Bloodstock. So you are on the uh, Sophie Lancaster stage today. Yep. And you, have you seen your stage yet? Have you gone up and had a look? Yeah. 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 You're happy. You had your noodles yeah. up there. You proved everything. Everything's yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So what's what's your stage time today? Do you know? Was it 16:25? 4:25? 4:25. Thereabouts. Okay. So if you are watching this, please get up to the Sophie Lancaster stage to catch uh, Orbit Culture. And we'll if you bring your show. And if you're not here, or you decided to do something else at the time, just you can find everything you need to know online and. Uh, there is brand new stuff coming out at the end of August, new singles, so we're all looking forward to that. So absolutely keep your eye on these guys because they are going up. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Cheers.